Hey everybody, I have a question for you. What does a flame torch, suspicious ice cream and failing lab equipment have in common? What? Exactly! Today we make glass that bounces. As always, this is not a guide and you should not repeat what you're seeing in this video. It involves very dangerous chemicals and sketchy procedures, and even though it is usually dangerous, this time it is dangerous AF, so please don't do it. Hey, 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 everybody, this is Overly Active and you're watching Overly Active. Anyways, this is glass, and if there is one thing you should know about glass, it's that it is brittle. However, there is a way to modify it so it becomes bouncy. Check this out. Well, maybe not right now, but it will be, because actually, this is part of the process. What we want to do today is to rearrange the molecular structure of the glass so that it can bend without breaking. And for this, we need to follow a couple steps. Step 1. Get some glass. Done. Step 2. Break the glass. Done. Step 3. Pick up the glass. Done. Now that we have it in pieces, the next step is to dissolve it, and for this we will use sodium hydroxide in a molten state. In order to melt the sodium hydroxide, I decided to put everything on my hot plate and crank it up to max. However, after a long while, I had to come to the conclusion that it would never work, and so I decided to use something with a bit more persuasion. After a while, it eventually started to melt, which is good. Once everything was molten, I just added the pieces of glass and kept on heating. You may have noticed that the solution took a brown color. This is due to the spoon I used to stir the solution slowly melting away, and also from the pot itself to some extent. A quick word of caution here. On a scale from 1 to dangerous, concentrated sodium hydroxide solutions are usually bad, but here we're dealing with the solid stuff, which is badder, and when it's melted at plus 300 degrees, it's badder. Let me demonstrate. At some point I was tired of seeing my spoon rusting away in my solution, so I thought, hey, maybe I could just use something else to stir it, and I took a piece of wood. But after literally 3 seconds, the thing started to fizz and bubble and this is what it looked like. So yeah, no joke. Anyways, I kept on heating and stirring the solution for a while, and then all of a sudden... Blackout. No lights. After a bit of investigation, it turned out that the problem was coming from you, the hot plate. I then took on the side quest of disassembling the device and identify where the problem was coming from. After testing several components and checking datasheets, I was able to come up with two conclusions. Conclusion number one. I suck at electronics. And conclusion number two. It don't bounce. Anyways, the next day I bought myself a camping stove and started heating the thing again. However, after two hours of continuous heating, I came to the conclusion that it was just never gonna work. In fact, the pieces I used were much too big and I should have used powdered glass or sand instead. I thus decided to quit, and once everything cooled down, I dumped everything off camera in a huge bucket of water to dissolve it all. But then, something unexpected happened. Upon acidification, besides the fact that the solution goes whoosh because you're mixing acids and base, you can see a whole lot of particulates starting to appear. Now I know what you're thinking. This looks way too similar to that mushroom video. However, it also means that we succeeded in what we wanted to do. Let me explain why. Glass is a densely packed amorphous solid, and what we did here is to dissolve some in strong base. This gave us a sodium silicate solution. Then, when adding acid, we brought the pH down and the dissolved silica started to condense and precipitate. However, this time the structure is different and it's much more open than before. Hence the little fluffy glass thing that we saw in the bucket. Good. After recovering and weighting my non-reacted glass, I did some pretty big brain math and turns out that my yield was about 27%. Oh. 
which is probably the best one I've ever got. Yay! Now I just filtered everything and kept the solids, and this is what I got. In order to remove the metal impurities that were trapped in the silica and gave it its brown color, I decided to use strong base again. This way, I would be able to dissolve the silica and turn the metal into its hydroxide form, which is insoluble. The solution turned more red, which is a good sign. I then gave it some heat and then filtered off the insoluble stuff. Boiled off excess water and removed crystallized salts. And what we now have is this thick sodium silicate solution. I decided to clean it up once more, only this time I would precipitate it first and then filter it. Interestingly, the coffee filters were not fine enough and everything would just go through. Great. Therefore, I improvised a very ghetto yet very effective solution, which was to use printer's paper. And it worked wonders. Once that was done, I was left with a pure, thick, white, ice cream-like glass gel. Now that it's clean, I just scooped it up and put it in a beaker, and yet again added some sodium hydroxide to it to dissolve it. Now, with just a little splash of ethanol, you see that the solution turns cloudy but remains liquid. But then, when adding some acid to it, the real magic happens. Okay, now hold on a second. I know what you think it looks like. I mean, I didn't really want to bring this topic to the table, but I kind of have to admit that, yes, it does look like a big cup full of cottage cheese, doesn't it? Oh no, you don't. Anyways, now grab yourself a handful and give it a good squeeze. With some pressure, you'll be able to give it a good shape. And ta-da! This is our product! I made two shapes out of it. And just check it out! Look at it. It's glass and it bounces. Awesome. I mean, my lad kind of looks like a war zone right now, but who cares? Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.